Can't go live. Hey kids, how about that? Stevie Coyle here, your old pal Stevie Coyle, webcasting from bucolic Lafayette, California, uh, in the Far East Bay. Do let me know, we're using a different system tonight. Things are a little different here uh, in the old backroom studio. And so let me know if the sound is good. Can you hear this okay? Uh, Miss Valerie is here piloting this whole brand new system. Sound is all right? All right, good, counting on you. If it starts to get a little crunchy, a little crackly, let me know I have the power. I have a knob here that I can turn and fix all that for you. Happy Memorial Day. Some people uh, are taking a vacation today. I have had, uh, this is the 25th vacation I've had this month. So there. We had some requests. There's a fellow that's been requesting this song, and I'm glad he did because I've had never learned it, even though my dad told me I should. And I'm going to sing it for you now, the St. James Infirmary. If you know it, sing it. The chorus in particular is a real rabble rouser, so don't worry about singing good, just sing loud. That's the key, I think. Oh no, it starts like that, but it's not that one. Down to the St. James Infirmary I saw 
my baby there Lumped on, on on a cold white table So cold, so white, so fair Search this wide world over She'll never meet another sweet man like me Oh, when I die, bury me in a straight lace dress In my high-top Stetson hat Put a twenty-dollar gold piece on my watch chain So that the good Lord will know I died standing pat her wherever she may be she'd search this wide world over she'd never meet another sweet man like me it's a true story even if it never did happen I bet it happened to somebody uh, yes in the back a question Rue, maybe, let me see, it might get warmed up a little bit. It's 150,000 degrees here today, and I'll see if I can sweat my way all the way to Rue de Romy. Thank you for the request back there in the back row. Yes, indeed, folks, it's a tip jar show. It really is. The, uh, the tip jar information is arriving on your screen momentarily. If you got a few shimoleons to spare, just uh, one of those places, either Venmo or PayPal, whatever you can spare, and if you can spare nothing, nothing is fine too. It really is. I'm feeling minor key today, but uh, I'll see if I can put something cheery in there first. That one needs a little bit of a capo. How y'all been? Y'all wearing, wearing this okay? Everybody stumbling through it? Well, another question. Yes. John Mooney, do you know Slack Key SoCal Rag? Slack Key SoCal Rag. I know the name, and I just said it. So that's a fulfilled request right there, folks. I, uh, I don't often take requests unless I'm asked to. But uh, I got to know them. Slacky SoCal Rag, that rings the bell. John Mooney, where, where is that from? I forget, whose is that? And you know, I might know it. It may be in the, caught in the Wayback Machine, if you'll pardon the, uh, pardon the expression. Doobie Brothers. Doobie Brothers, isn't it? That's right. loving ways. Hey, hey, I like you, cause you are so neat, so sweet, so sweet, and everything baby idolize. Your style of loving and your smile, and start hugging. Ooh, ah, those are big blue eyes, hypnotized. Every time I look at you, hey, hey, they just seem to thrill me through and through. You bet they do. I must admit that it is true. I throw a fit when I see you, baby, I like you. You have such loving ways
such loving ways Hey, hey, I like you Cause you aren't so neat, so sweet, so cute And everything, baby, I idolize Your style of loving and your smile I start a-hugging Ooh, ah, those are big blue eyes Hypnotized every time I look at you Hey, hey, they just seem to throw me through and through You bet they do I must admit that it is true I throw a fit when I see you Baby, I like you Have such loving ways loving ways hey hey i like you cause you are so neat so sweet so cute and everything baby idolize your style of loving and your smile i start a hugging Ooh, ah those are big blue eyes hypnotize every time i look at you hey hey they just seem to thrill me through and through i bet they do i must admit that it is true i throw a fit when i see you baby i like you cause you have such loving Love that song. I've been wanting to learn that for the longest time. And I was stumbling around the house here in a quadrant of the house that I rarely go and saw a ukulele hanging there that I put there a long time ago and never played. And so I thought, boy, you know, there's that song I really ought to learn. I like you from Sol Ho'opi'i, who's a Hawaiian guy with a name that sounds like that. Ho'opi'i, really fun to say if you don't hurt yourself. And I have loved that song for the longest time from a bunch of the uh, Hapa Haole records that I've had for years and years, <clears throat> I thought, i got to learn that on ukulele. I didn't. I thought, oh, how do, how do i got to figure out the chords on guitar first, and there it was. I kind of liked it a lot.
and turn the world on with her smile. Who can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile? Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it. With each glance and every little movement you show it, love is all around, no need to waste it. You can have the town, why don't you take it? Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind. You're too kind, as you're as you're finding out. Uh, are there any questions and comments so far? Anything that needs addressing, Ducky? Not right We're okay. Some... No horrified grandparents having the grand grandkids hear this. What's that? There is horrified grandparents. There, <laughs> there is horror, is what I'm told from the production staff here. <laughs> Randy Scruggs version of both sides now? I don't have the Randy Scruggs, but I might be able to... Boy, this is going to be muscle memory. But bombs away. Here we go. And Beatles. And some Beatles, sure, sure. This isn't the Randy Scruggs version, I don't think. Oh, that's the one. Is that the one at the end of... No, that was Merle... Wasn't that Merle Watson? Did a beautiful version at the end of uh, of the Will the Circle Be Unbroken uh, album. This is kind of the Chet Atkins version, and let's see how far I get. was most of the notes pretty close okay. yes question over here what tuning was that also what was the song right after freight train oh tough questions uh, let me answer them in reverse order because that's the way my brain works when it does uh that was a tuning called g6 was that joel baker by any quest by any chance no no curious tom oh tom tom very good hi tom how are you man nice to see you sort of um that's G6 tuning, so it's a regular G tuning, except you leave the high string up to E. Excuse, excuse us, Tom and I are going to have a little geek out here for a moment. Tom, here's how it goes. Instead of doing a full-on G tuning, which would be... Which would be D, G, D, G, B, D, you leave that E string up there. 
which is really useful because now your top four strings are just like they are in standard tuning. And you only have to worry about these two low strings. And instead of getting your G note there, having to come back and get it at 63, sixth string, third fret, six, three, 63, you can have it for free on the open fifth string. So it's a totally handy tuning. You know what I'll have for you sometime? This, this, this doesn't count. I, I get do-overs on this, like next week or the week after. Pretty close, most of those melody notes in there. So you can do the usual blackbird thing in this tuning, compensating for the fact that you're not doing the Paul version, and you can stick the melody on up top there too, if you're very clever, and I was kind of half clever, three quarters maybe. Yes, over here, way up top there. What came after Freight Train? Oh, the one that was after Freight Train, uh, which I wrote, by the way. Um, Freight Train, I did Jeepers. I think Steelin was in there from Leo Kotke. Not steam engine train, Steelin, which is a combination of uh, Doc's guitar, freight train, and living in the country. So Steelin was in there. I think I did Angie too by Bert Janch, uh, and The Reaper. Man, I forget. That was a long time ago. Yes. Can you play Norwegian Wood? Norwegian Wood. Good question. You know what, I'm going to take a moment in tune for you, kind people. I'm going to give you the $10 show here. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes, this is a tip jar show. You can do that if you like. Um, the, uh, it's the usual places, PayPal and Venmo. And there they are, like, like unto magic. Isn't that great? Valerie May did that. Could we have a hand, please, for Miss Valerie May? Personing the controls, the cameras and the lights, and the microphones and all the rest. Thank you very much for helping me. make that face that I just made when they're trying to figure something out. It's mysterious. But it's, it's what do they call that? Neurolinguistic programming. Is that when you look up and to the left to try and remember something that you knew a thousand years ago? Ask me to and nouns and verbs. See, this is it. So I looked around and there was something Stay and she told me to sit anywhere. Hey. 
I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. Two minor and five. Those are my lyrics. my lyrics you, you can sing along too. How about this one? Sing, Muggsy, sing. Can you hear our little kitty singing along? He's the biggest damn black hat you ever saw, and he's got this little teeny voice. It's very humorous. Contrasts are humorous. Well, I got time for one more, I think. Uh, were there any requests along the way there? Should we just stumble along with something? Here's one that, um, you know, absent a request, and I'm still up for one if you got one, that I know. <clears throat> this is one that my partner Glenn, I'm in a duo, you wouldn't know it these days, but I'm in a duo called The Quitters with Glenn Houston, Glenn Pomianic Houston, late of Houston Jones, and uh, Hearts on Fire, and one of the original Waybacks, one of the original founders of the Waybacks all those years ago. And he sings this. Do you know, I wish I could tell you who wrote it. It's really criminal that I don't know, but I know that Crystal Gale sang it, sung it, sung it, sang it. So did Doc Watson. I've got to tell you I've been racking my brain Trying to find a way out I've had enough of this continual rain Changes are coming been a too long time with no peace of mind and I'm ready for the times to get better oh yeah yes a long long time with no peace of mind and I'm ready for the times to get better
want from me what I cannot give I feel so lonesome at times I have a dream that I wish I could live It's burning holes in my mind It's been a too long time with no peace of mind And I'm ready for the times to get better You say long lonely time with no peace of mind And I'm ready for the times to get better One more time, sing with me Yes, it's a long, long time with no peace of mind And I'm ready for the time to get better one more time you say long lonely time with no peace of mind and we're ready for the times to get better aren't you me too you bet well thank you very much for sticking around folks my name's Stevie Coyle and uh, I, I have a shop called Mighty Fine Guitars that uh, is selling guitars. I'm selling guitars. They look like drug deals out in the parking lot, but guitars are being sold out of the shop. Hit the website, MightyFineGuitars.com. Um, you can uh, also, I also give guitar lessons online, um, lots and lots of them, individual lessons. And I'm also over at PegheadNation.com, teaching fingerstyle in, uh, in kind of a programmed course. What else do I have to sell you? Oh, great salesman I am. I don't have a copy of the record that I made 10 years ago that I actually gave a listen to the other day, and it's pretty darn good. I was very pleased with the way it turned out. It was going to be a nice, polite little finger-style guitar record, and it turned into, excuse me, a whole concept album. Well, I mean, it was a real album. It wasn't just a concept. It was a whole album. But there's a story that happened there about this guy, and you heard his theme song at the outset there. That little video was Mr. Oster's theme, and uh, it's his adventures at... The carnival or the circus in the midway not only in the midway in the 10 and 1 tent which is the long skinny tent that uh, housed 10 fabulous attractions fabulous bendy fingers attraction uh, under one top under one tent the 10 and 1 and that's the name of the album and he has quite a, a revelation in there he really does goes in kind of really sad and comes out less sad which is about all you can ask for isn't it you bet so there's the album, there's the lessons, there's, uh, golly, there's the tip jar information, which uh, you've, you've had uh, flashed at you several times here. I think that's all I have to sell you, and I wish you well. It's, uh, it's coming on nighttime here in Bucolic Lafayette, California. The crickets are cricketing, the lions are lioning, uh, the leopards out there. It's, it's all happening, and uh, we wish you good night. Miss Valerie and I, as Valerie waves goodbye too. And we hope you have a pleasant evening and a safe tomorrow. And as they say on the interwebs, don't touch your face. Good night, folks. <laughs>